so i'm gonna show you my sewing machine which is a brother in office nv 1300 or brother in office nv 1300 whichever way you you like to call it so it it comes with a handy hard case which helps in protecting the machine from the dust and from the, it helps also to prevent the kids from playing around with the machine okay so i'll put it aside so at the top my machine comes with a handle here it helps when you're transporting the machine to a different place so to the right side of the machine we've got a hand wheel which you can only turn towards you or counterclockwise to help raise and lower the needle to sew just one stitch and then and then right here we've got a main power switch which you use when you want to turn the machine on or off so this right here is the power supply jack this is where you insert your plug for the power supply just here like this great so moving on right here we've got the air vent this allows the air surrounding the motor to circulate so for this one you don't have to cover it while the machine is being used this right here is a foot controller jack that's when you plug in your foot controller to help you when you want to start the sewing and it also helps to control the speed whilst you're sewing so this is the front of the sewing machine and it's got quite a handy cover which you can actually open right here so at the top here that's where you do your bobbin winding and threading of the machine and right here you've got all your other stitches patterns and you've got some letters over here as well so these are the operation buttons i'm gonna talk about this a little bit and i'm gonna start from the left going to the right i'll start with this one here it's called the stop start button when you press it on it can help you to start sewing even without the foot controller so the stop start button is color coded it turns green to show that the machine is ready to sew or that the machine is actually sewing something and when it turns red it just means that the machine cannot sew maybe there will be an, an error or something wrong with the machine so you have to check that out until it turns green then you know the machine is ready to start sewing again then it can also turn orange when you're winding the bobbin thread or when the bobbin winder shaft is moved to the right side to show that you're ready to start winding the bobbin now this right here is a reverse stitch part you can only press this button and keep holding on it and then the machine can back stitch a few stitches on a slow pace and then you release and it stops this right here is called a reinforcement stitch button so this is mainly used for like see-through fabrics or fabrics that you don't need any bulk on them when you are doing when you do a normal reverse stitch so you use that one to secure your thread but in a cleaner way okay so this is a needle position button it helps to raise and lower the needle so pressing this button twice can sew one stitch for you as well so this is a thread cutter button this little scissor symbol here stands for a thread cutter button it helps to cut both the upper and bobbin thread for you whilst you stop sewing which is quite handy hey and this is a sewing speed controller you can actually slide it left or right to choose the speed you want that's the maximum you can get on this machine so you can choose whichever speed you're comfortable with when you're starting sewing so right here we've got a needle thread guide right here and this is our needle this is the presser foot and that's the presser foot holder right there and this right here is the needle plate which is marked with some straight lines here and it's got some markings here to help you guide your fabric through different seam allowances and it helps you to sew straight lines so this clear one right here is the bobbin cover so this machine's got a drop drop in bobbin you can actually see it through this cover here so when you want to open this you just slide through this little square to the right and then you can just lift it up and that's your bobbin right there okay 
so that's how you can just take it out like that. so to put it back again you just slide it through there and let it snap and that's it so to the right of the machine this is the main operation panel for the machine okay so this right here is the lcd screen this is where you see the stitch settings and the selected stitch and also you can also see the errors written there for the machine when you're operating it okay so for these two buttons here they're quite handy when you're sewing you can actually just preset them when you're sewing so that it, it it can automatically do a back back stitch for you at the beginning and end of your sewing stitch of, of your sewing and this can also automatically cut the threads once you finish sewing as well which is really good and you can also turn it off so this machine also comes with a flatbed attachment which has got some storage compartments for you to put your things it also comes with these accessories I'll tell you all about what's in there very soon and the other side as well where you can put your screws and all that and you can actually take it off when you are sewing things like trouser hems or sleeves so the machine is quite handy as well in that it comes with a needle threader for you it automatically threads the needle for you which is quite good and handy if you ask me because it's quite hard to try and put the thread through those needles but there's only one instance where you can't use the needle threader with this when you are trying to use the twin needle so at the back of the machine once you remove the flatbed attachment you can then access this button right here this is the feed dog controller so it's got two positions right here this one to the right with two stars is the normal position when the feed dogs are out these ones right here are the feed dogs they help to feed the fabric through when you are sewing okay so for other things like when you are doing quilting some prefer to put the pit to lower the feed dogs down for free motion and all that so you just press so this is the top of my machine this is where you do your thread machine threading and winding the bobbin okay for your machine so as you can see there are lines drawn here and there's some numbers here this is all done to make sure it's easy for you to thread your machine so the dashed lines these ones you can see here they help you to actually wind your bobbin and the solid lines here are for threading the machine so this right here is the thread guide plate okay you pass both your bobbin and the machine threading thread through here okay so this here is bobbin thread pretension disc from there you've got a thread spool here and this is a spool pin okay with the spool cover right here okay and these two here are the bobbin winder 